learning to say no before saying yes. The word no have a negative connotation. And living in our society where everybody wants to be seen as positive as they are, they tried all that they could to avoid saying no to people. Nobody want to get a no answer. Nobody want for their for them to be noticed or for them to be known as somebody who say no. Because we are all trying to build our life based on positivities. We want to project the best out of us. We want for people to know that we are member of the society and we are member of the group. We are belonging. So we always avoid to say things that are going to offend another person's feeling. And by so doing, we try our best to iron out our disagreement with them by refusing to directly use the word no. So we are taught or the society teaches us to always be positive by accepting what people say. In one way or the other, it is all about saying yes. But as you're gonna say, as you're gonna see from my point of view and from my experience, if you teach yourself how to say no to people, you are on a path of success. Majority of the people in the world who are successful, they learn by saying no to people. Take an example, or like we, or like people from, with people who are African descent, Africans in the diaspora. Every end of the month, you will receive, you might likely receive ten or more calls from relatives, from friends, from girlfriends, like those who are in multiple relationship. Everybody requesting that you have, that they have problems, they want you to send them money, they want, they need your assistance, your uncles, your sibling, and everybody. And at the end of the day, the resources, like your little salary, your monthly salary that you have, because I believe you are struggling, you travel from afar, you come to this society, you come to the West with the hope of making a life for yourself, but you will end up living for them because you have refused to say no. The problems come your way, you know you won't have a means of solving a particular problem, but you give them hope because you have refused yourself to say no. I find myself in such a society for many years. I've been living my life for people. I've been supporting people. At the end of the day, I deprive myself. We live here, we deprive ourselves to support other people because we have been taught to say yes to people. We have been taught. We have never been taught to say no. And as you will see, the successfulness of a man start with the point when he realized that he should be the one to teach himself how to say no. Saying no to people might be offensive. It might be heartbroken. It might be daunting at times. It might even destroy our relationship, our intimate relationship with certain people. But at the end of the day, for you to live the life that you have chosen or the life to excel in things that you do and to have a profitable life and go above your expectation, we should learn to say no. When I discovered in my life that I have not been able to push myself somewhere with my limited health and because I wasn't able to create or to generate a huge income, I decided 
But it was time for me to start saying no to people. It might be hurtful to them and it might even be a burden on you yourself because your conscience are telling you that those you are saying no to, they deserve yes. But at the end of the day, if you want to straighten up yourself, you have to learn to say no. And this whole book is about how we can teach ourselves to say no to people if we want to excel to the next level.